Here's something worth thinking about. Initial jobless claims have consistently registered at 212,000 even. With the workforce of only 161 million or so, such statistical consistency is not just unlikely, it's nearly impossible. So I think we need to talk about this. Well, it's obvious now that something's off with these figures we're getting from the bureaucrats in DC. In this video, I'm going to cover three questions worth considering. One, how can jobless claims remain unchanged despite widespread layoffs? Two, are the unemployment figures being manipulated? Three, what does a stable jobless claims figure suggest about the overall economy? The goal is always to highlight suspicious data and try to filter through the lies to get to the bottom of what's really going on, not on Wall Street, but on Main Street, because that's where the heart of the economy really lies. So if you guys value this type of information and find value, please, hit that thumbs up button and make sure the bell notification is turned on. And last, share this so others like yourself can watch, listen, and learn from a perspective they won't get from the mainstream media. Now, as I dive into this, the number one question, how can jobless claims remain unchanged despite widespread layoffs? The repetition of those exact figures week after week raises serious questions about the credibility of the numbers released out of Washington. As the large-scale layoffs continue across major American corporations, the reported jobless claims suggest an implausibly stable labor market. Just in the last several weeks on the RTD Morning Check-In, I've mentioned dozens of layoffs happening all across the country. And a good account worth following on X.com is Macro Edge. Non-stop throughout the day, I get notifications showing layoffs from companies I've never even heard of. It's also a good source for the defaulting on the commercial real estate crisis as well. To add to this, at the end of 2023, a report by Ranston Rysmart, an analytical tracking company, projected that a significant 92% of employers are preparing for layoffs in 2024. So this discrepancy in figures has even drawn the attention of mainstream media Looks like outlets like CNBC is also questioning these consecutive weeks of getting the same figures. As it says here, something strange has been happening with the jobs claims numbers lately. To highlight this even further, another person worth paying attention to for his great commentary work is Jim Bianco of Bianco Research. He's a macro strategist that's becoming very critical of what he's seeing in the markets nowadays. In a recent post, he pointed out the complexities involved in unemployment insurance, a system governed by diverse state regulations and influenced by varying factors like weather and economic conditions. Yet, the reported figures remain suspiciously static. As you can see here, every Friday for several weeks, we get the same figures over and over again. This defies logical expectations of weekly fluctuations. So just to let you know how skewed these numbers really are, take a look at this initial claims for unemployment benefits in the U.S. over the last six months. And as you can see, there's two different colors here, light blue and dark blue, both tell a very unique story. As you can see, the dark blue line, seasonally adjusted. Those are the numbers that are adjusted after all the economic data comes in. It's able to be skewed in a way that suits those that are trying to create the narrative of a stable job market. And as you can see here, going all the way back here to November of 2023, you would think that the 200,000 mark happens to be the average number that the Bureau of Labor Statistics want to stick to. But then again, if you look at the light blue line, the data is not seasonally adjusted, meaning that it's direct data accumulated that hasn't been maneuvered or skewed to paint a narrative of stability. And as you can see here, those large gyrations all the way back to December, and especially the largest unemployment spike around January of 320,000 jobs. But then after it's adjusted, it's brought down to around 200,000. And so just looking closer at this graph here, you see how over the last two months, here's the five of the last six weeks here of that 212,000 that they want the world to believe is actually true. Despite the significant job cuts reported by firms like Challenger, Gray, and Christmas, who noted a 7% increase in layoffs in March compared to what happened in February. And I figure right there was 90,000 jobs that was lost. Yet for some reason, these layoffs seem to have no impact on the jobless claim statistics. This is just a stark disconnect between the reality of the job market and the figures being publicized. Even in the Labor Market Department's recent report, it adds to the perplexity, showing a decrease in unemployment figures that dropped to 3.8% in February, even as the economy added far more jobs than anticipated. So this answers question number two. Are the unemployment figures being manipulated? The answer is clearly yes. This paints a picture of an employment situation that seems too good to be true, given the current economic challenges. With the ongoing manipulation of employment data, that's just one facet of a larger issue. The immense and growing U.S. national debt, which is fast approaching $35 trillion, with no sign of slowing down anytime soon. This monumental debt raises concerns about the sustainability of current fiscal policies and the real health of the economy. This goes right into the last and final question to why they gave us these sketchy figures. Question number three, what does a stable jobs claim figure suggest about the overall economy? Because these figures are more the distortion between what's real and what's artificial. How often does the Bureau of Labor Statistics revise figures downward substantially from previous months? In the March 2024 Employment Situation Report, January's total non-farm payroll was revised up by 27,000 to 256,000, while February's change was revised down to 167,000. So what does that mean? A couple thousand here, a couple thousand there could be added or subtracted as long as the narrative fits their agenda at the end of the day. 
to normalize employment as they're talking about. And let's not forget how last year ended. The initial U.S. unemployment reports overstated job growth by 439,000 through November in 2023. This means the job market was weaker than the government claimed. It says here, there's something wrong with the previous U.S. job report. The government quietly erased 439,000 jobs from November 2023. A closer look at the numbers from the Bureau of Labor Statistics shows. You hear that? Quietly erased? So if they quietly erased that, what else are they not telling us? Or what else has they done to pad the books to make themselves look better than what it really is? So what do these revisions mean? The government is lying all the way to the bank and has everything to do with propping up the system by deceiving the main street economy. And that's for the sake of the commercial banking sector, which is severely under pressure. This is one of an assortment of reasons the job numbers are fake and will more than likely continue as they try to cover up the impact on the real economy. I'm talking about the economy they don't want us to talk about publicly, yet just experience it privately as more people are laid off and what might be looked at in the future as the job apocalypse is sweeping the nation. So there you have it. As we navigate what appears to be the terminal phase of the greatest debt crisis in history, one must question the reality presented by official statistics. These numbers are an accurate reflection of the current economic situation, and you are clearly being misled. So the final question is, what will the repercussions be when the true state of the economy can no longer be covered up? Yet, I'll leave the rest of this subject up to your imagination. So that's it for me for now. Just want to check in, share some thoughts, put some stats and facts out there. Let you guys digest it and do with it what you must. And I hope this explained and answered some questions that you had about those fake job numbers because doing a research for this definitely helped me out. But as always, if you found value in this, definitely hit that thumbs up button, show your support for the channel, and take a minute, share this video so more people can watch, listen, and learn about what's really happening from an alternative perspective and then be able to make choices and decisions for themselves. But how can they do it if they don't know or if no one tells them? Other than that, I'll catch you guys later. And if you found this video informative, I know you'll like this one as well. Catch you later.